it's film room time and today we're going to take a look at Iowa center Tyler Linderbaum and and Linderbaum is one of my favorite prospects so far in this 2021 NFL draft class center out of Iowa he's a redshirt junior you know six foot three 309 pounds um, I think he's you know at this point the best interior offensive line prospect in the 2021 NFL draft class if he declares um, and I think he's a guy that's you know got a lot of potential. And what if you're not familiar with what I do in these, I'm going to take a look at several clips of his game. In this case, it's against it's against Wisconsin, and uh, show you kind of the type of prospect that he is. And then I'll get into maybe some comparisons, uh, where I think he'll go, and my overall thoughts on him. Now, the first thing I want to show you about Tyler Linderbaum is his athleticism and his ability to reach and get out and, and block defenders. And this defensive tackle is the guy he's going to block. He's shading the inside shoulder of that right guard. And Linderbaum's going to be able to reach out here. And not only is he just able to reach out here, this defensive tackle is moving outside too. So as we see on the snap here, he's able to get out as that defensive tackle is moving outside, Get not only get his head in front – to occupy to cut him off but then he's able to get those hips around to seal him off for this running back and just this athleticism and this ability to to get the outside edge of his left gap to block that defensive tackle cut him off to to open up and, and seal off this hole for the running back is pretty tremendous for for a center you don't see that athleticism athleticism very often no uh when you do last person i saw that could do this was nc state's garrett bradbury and he's a top 20 pick to the minnesota vikings and and he had the same ability to get out and, and and reach at a tremendous level and we see that athleticism once again on this play and he's going to reach to his right and he's going um, at the snap and, and this time, this defensive tackle cut inside. But not only did he show this quickness to get out here, look at that quickness, but then that balance and the ability to adjust. He sees that the defensive tackle slanted inside. He's able to get his hand inside there and then position his body off to seal. Now, the ball didn't end up going that way, but he was able to seal off his guy and adjust and use that athleticism to his advantage. And then one last clip on his athleticism. He's going to run, this is going to be a screen play to his right. And then he's just able to get out in space, just fluidly, effortlessly find a guy to block for this, this screen. As we see here, he sets up like it's going to be a pass and just, just the ability just to move. Look how much ground he covers so effortlessly. And it's just had athleticism that really just stands out initially as you watch Tyler Linderbaum and his ability to, to block and, and occupy defenders with that using that athleticism to his advantage. Now, Tyler Linderbaum is much more than just an athlete playing center. He also has the strength, the power that's needed to play in this position. So in this, in this game against Wisconsin, he faced a lot of defensive tackle. The nose tackle lined up head up on him like we see right here. And he shows the ability here. It's not this tremendous rush, but he's able to attack this defensive tackle, this nose tackle, and just anchor in, and this guy doesn't move. You know, maybe they're a little at the end, if I'm being nitpicky. But he's able to just go and just lock in and hold the point of attack, hold that anchor. And that's what you want out of your centers. You want them to be able to take on those defensive tackles and, and, and hold the point of attack. And we see a lot of teams, they, they want that out of their, their interior offensive linemen because the quarterback, the ability to step up and the ability to see straight over the line of scrimmage. And if you're holding your point of attack, you're anchoring in like Tyler Linderbaum is right here, teams are going to absolutely love this. Quarterbacks are absolutely going to love this. Now, to go along with the, the strength and the power is the ability to win with your hands. And you've got to be able to win those hand fights and, and keep the defender's hands off you. And that's what we see in this clip here. You know, we got this defensive tackle in the, inside the A-gap. 
and Linderbaum's able to attack him, and then he's able to just keep his hands free to cut him off. And, and I know that the teammate came by to help out, you know, in, in the body blow, but he, look at his hands. He's able to get his hands right here, as you can see, right up with his right hand. His hand catches him so it doesn't get into his body, and he's able to just keep fighting, keep the defender from getting his hands inside, getting that advantage. He uses his lateral agility to cut him off to the side. And with this guy coming because of the loop, and, you know, kind of, you know, chips him as well, but, you know, just shows that ability to win with those hands. And then one last clip with his hands. We see here, once again, nose tackle lined up head up on him, and he's able to just get his hands inside and just lock him down. Just locks him down using those hands. It just gets him inside, and that's what you want. If, you, if you're able to get your hands inside, you're able to a lot of times control those defensive tackles, and that defensive tackle, that nose tackle, really didn't go anywhere once Linderbaum was able to get his hands in on him. You know, I talked about his athleticism. I talked about his power. I even briefly mentioned his ability to move laterally, and that's what we're going to see here uh, out, out of Linderbaum is his ability to to slide with these defensive tackles, with these pass rushers. He's able to, you know, with this defensive tackle, just get his hands on him and just slide. It shows, you know, it doesn't have to slide a ton, but we've seen his athleticism in, in you know, previous clips just a little bit ago. But just that ability to engage and then just move his feet with the defensive tackle to stay in front of him and prevent them, cut him off, Stay in front of them and prevent them from getting any type of pressure at the quarterback. Look how much time that quarterback had to throw the ball because guy, a guy like Tyler Linderbaum, with a little help from his right guard, is able to give him that clean pocket. And then lastly, my favorite clip here um, is just his awareness. When you're playing inside offensive line, you got to be able to kind of understand where everyone's coming from and have those quick reaction skills. If a blitzer's coming, if there's a, they're running games with a loop or whatever it may be. And, and you see this out of Tyler Linderbaum uh, on this, this clip right here. He's going to engage with that defensive tackle to his inside, but this linebacker, this defensive end, whatever you want to call him, um, is going to be coming around. And he's able to quickly see him and react to knock him enough out of the way, prevent him to allow his quarterback to make this touchdown throw. And if we see this in full speed, he, he look how fast he reacts. He's able to go here and quickly just react enough to get that hit on him to give the quarterback enough time. You know, because his, you know, yes, his eyes are looking over, but it's just that quick move, that quick reaction. You want that. You know, he's got the total package. He's got the athleticism. He's got the power. He's got the awareness. There's not much more you want out of a center in today's NFL than what we see in these clips with Tyler Linderbaum. As I said, Tyler Linderbaum is one of my favorite players in this class. You know, he's got it all and all that you want. I, I mentioned Garrett Bradbury. Uh, his, you know, a former, another former Iowa talent, uh, James, uh, center James Daniels, who was drafted by the Bears, I believe, in the second round. Um, he's got that same athleticism. Those, both of those guys, Daniels and Bradbury, were tremendous athletes for the center position. And I think Tyler Linderbaum has just as good or potentially maybe even better athleticism than those guys. But then what he helps, you know, what he also has is that power uh, and that strength. And, and I think Bradbury's the, the best comparison to him. And as I said in the video at the start, uh, Bradbury was top 20 pick. And I think Tyler Linderbaum, if he continues to progress like he has the last two years, I think he's got a great chance of being a top 20 pick too. You know, you don't often see centers drafted that high, but when you do, it's these guys that are the complete package. And Linderbaum was, or, or Bradbury to the Vikings was a lot of a scheme fit. And maybe he hasn't panned out as a top 20 pick like, you know, the Vikings would have hoped or what you, you know, grading your, your NFL draft, you know, a couple years later. But, um, I, th I think Linderbaum has that potential. I think he's a stud. I think he's one of the best linemen in the NFL or in college football going into the NFL draft. Um, and, and I think he's a guy that you really got to watch for and a name you got to remember if he does enter this 2022 NFL draft class 
um, I think he's a guy that really got to keep an eye on. All right, it's going to go ahead and wrap it up. Remember, the best way to get these is to subscribe. Hit that subscription, that subscribe button here on YouTube. Um, that's the best way to get these. Also, make sure you're following me on all social media, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, draft underscore Brian is the, uh, the, the handle, the name that you need to go to. Uh, make sure you're following me on those places. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time.